Well, this morning is the annual Walk Like Mad and Mad Dash Southwest Florida 5K. It's an event put on by Mad or Mothers Against Drunk Driving to raise awareness about the dangers of drunk or drug driving and to raise the money for to help some of those victims and their loved ones. Now, Fox 4's anchor Lisa Greenberg is live at JetBlue Park where the race just got started. And how are things going so far, Lisa? Well, John, things are going amazing out here. I was just talking to one of the organizers of this Walk Like Mad 5K who was telling me that they surpassed their goal of how many people were registered. They actually had, as of last night, more than 400 people here registered for this event. And that doesn't include the people who just showed up this morning, walk up for that registration. So it is incredible. I'm excited to hear how many people exactly came out here later today. But it is a perfect morning here at JetBlue Park for a race. Now, Mothers Against Drunk Driving is just an incredible organization. They work so hard day in and day out to raise money and raise awareness for drunk and drug driving and the impacts that it can have on people's lives. I know that I've been working as a journalist here in Southwest Florida for almost nine years and since the start of my career here, I have worked with Mothers Against Drunk Driving very closely to see the impacts they have on this community. They work with victims of drunk and drug driving. For example, I met a woman from Charlotte County named Linda Benny years ago when her daughter died in a crash at the hands of a drunk driver. And I watched firsthand how Mothers Against Drunk Driving was there in court with her throughout the court proceedings, helped her cope and still cope. And now that mother has made it her mission to be a part of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Her name is again Linda Benny. And in fact, she was actually the person who raised the most money for this 5K today. So it really is just an incredible organization. Now, this 5K kicked off. You see, the starting line is empty. So at around 7.30, those racers took off from the starting line here. They are off running that path, which travels throughout this area surrounding JetBlue Park. Just incredible. I'm excited to see who the first person that's going to come into this area from that run is, the first person to cross the finish line. For now, though, I want to bring in Trish Rout. She is one of the chair of people for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Such an incredible organization. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Trish. Thanks, Lisa. So this is a great day today. You you guys had an incredible turnout. Yeah, this is, you know, and the fact that we had so many people out here today, that's a testament to the fact that the people of Southwest Florida want to see an end to impaired driving. And by showing up this morning, by getting up early on a Saturday and spending that time with us, that just reinforces that the message is getting through and we need everybody to share that message because we would, we're striving for a society where we don't have to talk about impaired driving, where it's not an issue. But until that day arrives, we all need to, to step up to the plate and do the one thing that we can all do is uh, be responsible, always have a plan if you're going to imbibe an alcohol, and, and spread the word. Don't let your friends uh, drive impaired. I know that sounds like a cliche, but friends don't let friends drive drunk. Um, in this society, when you've got so many options, um, ride shares, good old-fashioned designated driver, drunk driving should not be an issue. So we just need everybody to step up to the plate and help us. Right, exactly. I know since the very beginning, your mission has been no more victims. And it is crazy to think about the fact that there are so many ways to avoid this nowadays, but this continues to be the number one reason that people die on our roadways is at the hands of impaired drivers. For anyone who's watching who hasn't heard of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, what is one thing that you want them to know at home? We want to, that, that MAD is, we are here to serve Southwest Florida exclusively. For today's event, 100%, every single penny is going to stay right here in Southwest Florida to help families like Linda Benny's, uh, whose, whose families have been impaired, uh, been impacted by impaired drivers. So when you're, when you're supporting MAD, whether it's at this event or anything that we do during the year, know that you are making an investment in your community and helping these victims. Absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time. I know you're super busy this morning with everything that's going on today, so I appreciate you taking a few Lisa. minutes to be with us. Again, this is something that we are watching throughout the rest of the morning. We are waiting for those runners to come back into the finish line. We will check back in with you guys in just a bit, but I got to shout it out to Lauren, our meteorologist, because we could not have be had better weather for today. Of course, it's a little hot, but the humidity to start things off was a little bit lower. I think it's starting to pick up a little bit now. But honestly, Lauren, we couldn't have asked for a better forecast. 